<laughs> it, it it does look I mean like it, aliens or something yeah. otherworldly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you do it, it you feel like you're on some weird wow. planet like you don't even know mm -hmm. where you are. But uh this uh for those of you who don't know cuz this is a this is a quite a famous location but it's the it's in Palau and it's one of the freshwater um lakes that are there and they have these like you know there's I think there's some I mean I it, the the pot, the number of jellyfish changes all the time but it was like oh some million there was like millions not, in there not poisonous um, or they don't sting you obviously different no i mean they yeah they're not poisonous i mean they well the sting they do sting like a tiny <laughs> oh, bit geez. um but 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 it's not it's mm. not bad at all and it's totally yeah <laughs> that's an incredible image right there jody i mean that how glowing they are and that it's like you know as we look through these images how she's utilizing how you're utilizing of the light to like kind of convey and show those stories that that makes all the difference you know i i've seen many images from i believe the same location in the way but there's something different about the glowing and the almost looking up towards the rays and everything that really sets this image apart from the other ones and you know it goes with not only experience but seeing light in that different way so it's beautiful yeah i mean i i'm i'm analyzing light right. all the time um and, but and then for me like again when i was in this this when i was swimming there like for me this image really kind of represents how i feel i felt like just kind of like otherworldly mm -hmm. so i kind of feel like this photo um like helps to capture mm -hmm. that um just how mm -hmm. yeah beautiful i mean just floating among all these like millions of jellyfish is just yeah it's beautiful. very surreal very um and this is one of my more well-known photos it's um yes. it's again in french polynesia so a lot of my a lot of my photos that i'm happen to be showing you are french polynesia but um this is in morea actually um, makes me want to go back and this was <laughs> right yeah, now <laughs> i know um yeah and i i was lucky enough to find this i called him the whale whisperer um because he just understood the behavior of humpbacks like nothing i've ever seen before and i remember he he would i mean he didn't chase them at all he could see them like mm -hmm. swimming off in the distance and he'd place mm -hmm. the boat like a mile or more ahead of them and then he'd just say to me get in the water <laughs> now and i was like well how, how do you know like i don't even see them because wow. they like dive down and he would just be like I remember like talking to him when I was in the water and he was in the boat looking up at him and, and he'd be like, look down right now. And I'd be like, like what? <laughs> and that's deep blue water um, that you're in there, obviously. That's Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're fortunate fortunately, Maria, um, the water's the visibility's like more than a hundred feet. So it's that's one of the really important mm -hmm. things when mm -hmm. photographing like whales in particular, mm -hmm. you want really clear yep. water. And the one thing I learned from sailing around the world is that's often very hard right. to find um, where you're getting like a hundred yeah. plus feet of clarity. I mean, in, in like, there's a, a couple key spots in the world, like Tonga is one of them mm. where they have like super clear right. water and people photograph them there a ton. And then this is another location. Um, Maria I just has like real, spectacular water clock. that's high on my list i definitely want to do the swimming with the whales like in a tonga or something like that it's really high on my list hopefully we can get there this year but man it's that water clarity at 100 is something very very special i mean just in general it seeing is. that is very special I yeah had crystal marshall islands i'm not sure what you had but like that was some of the clearest water i had seen uh at the islands that we were at in the marshalls it was pretty amazing yeah yeah, no. there. I mean, no humpbacks really. No, but, um, no, no. Yeah, incredible waves. Yeah. We got but, insane waves, but yeah. Yeah, no. This we did some really amazing wave cutting there yeah. too, uh, cool. and, and surfing there. So cool. yeah, no, it's amazing. Nice. Um. Okay. So there. <sighs> this is the next image. Oh nope, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um. So right now I'm just kind of showing like my progression. Okay of how i was started taking a lot more of course underwater stuff um and learning how to do that while i was on the boat and it, again this is one of 
I think like my favorite images uh, of this uh, giant jellyfish what detail. that was in Burma. And I kind of, I call this like, this was like his little minions, right? Mm -hmm. Like all these little guys, like he was his own mm -hmm. ecosystem. It was pretty amazing, but he's at least five feet across. Mm. It's a big jump. Um, so he, I mean, he, he was, yeah. What, what lens are you shooting with here? It looks like you have a little depth as we kind of like bleed off to the back or unless that's just debris in the water. I can't tell. Well, yeah, it's the, the lot that water was, had a lot of stuff okay. in it. Um, Amazing. So a lot of debris in the water, but I'm pretty sure it's a 20. Mm. The symmetry of that and just having that like dead center like that and like the fish around is just, that's real artwork right here. Yeah, that's I art. Mean, it, <laughs> Well, and it's tr like, you don't know, uh, you know, you can't, I can't even tell you how many tries I tried to get mm -hmm. this shot. Like you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're swimming backwards mm -hmm. and your fins are getting in the way oh. and you know, all this stuff. And then he turns, like, yeah. it turns. Yeah. And I don't know if it's a he or she, but yeah, it turns and you're trying to move. I mean, I, I think I took thousands to get this one. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? That goes back to what my dad always is like, shoot loose and edit tight because you have, this oh. moment right there while shooting it. And when you get back to editing, if you all of a sudden had everyone out of focus, you know, you're fitting in every photo, blocking it or anything like that, you can't go back to that moment. That, that was a right. moment in time. And that's where we strive and we like excel in that we want to be able to capture those moments to share. And that's why it's like, shoot a ton of images right there, especially with digital, it's beautiful, um, strong, good memory cards, uh, it, it, it helps. And to be able to create and yeah. do these, that's how we we can take it and we can capture those. And then you can find that perfect image as we see here. That's just it, symmetrically just gorgeous. And I feel that way about weather. Okay. I mean, I in turn, and what I mean by that is like, there's so many times where I want to say to myself, oh, I mean, I can come back right. tomorrow. And, but I'm assuming that the weather is going to be the same. And then it could rain for two weeks mm -hmm. straight. And I totally lost that yeah. opportunity because I thought I could come mm -hmm. back. And so I've learned the hard way. It's like the, it's good right now. It's light right now, mm -hmm. like stay longer right. and just do it, right. you know, or put in more effort to do it today because you really don't know. It's usually totally different. The Absolutely. Next day. Um, Be in the moment guys. This is a, a great example and lesson of, you got to be in the moment. We got to enjoy this moment, capture those imagery, yeah. and that's how we are able to do this. So, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that image. Huh. Um, and then again, going back to like these, the, you know, these crazy adventures mm -hmm. where you're just like, wow, I, I can't believe. Mm -hmm. Like this is why I, this is why I was sailing around mm -hmm. the world to have experiences like this. So. We had crossed from Madagascar, the Mozambique Channel, Jeez. to these outer islands in Mozambique, and we saw this 20-mile sand dune um, that, you know, on an uninhabited island, and we just thought, oh, my God, we have to try to paraglide this. And we ended up um, there. I don't that you can see the shore break, but it's actually very big shore break, um, and there was no other way to access the beach. Wow. Um, so we had to wait for low tide, try to get the dinghy in with our gear, and then we had to swim the dinghy and anchor it back outside the Holy break. Holy cow. Because uh, we knew as the, the tide came up, it would just get bigger and bigger wow. and bigger. So, um, and then we ended up, um, we, we flew here. It was just unbelievable. There was like five of us flying here for hours and hours and hours. And then we saw our dinghy on the beach. So the anchor chain broke. It went through Shit. the shore break up under the oh, shore. No. And then we ended up, we couldn't get it started. The shore break was too big. So we had to also again, wait till the next day. What? To, the... um, Jeez. Yeah. To try to, to try to, we didn't, to try to get the dinghy off. And we didn't even know if the engine would start because it went through the shore break. Right. Oh, um, so we didn't have any water or food. <laughs> we had to spend the night here, but we, we didn't have anything else to do. So we just kept flying. 
It's it's incredible. Uh, I mean, the light that you use in this image, I've seen this image many times before, I believe, uh, with Red Bull Loom um, and a few yes, other things. Exactly. And, and, and just how that light's hitting, but also the shadows going along the sand dunes and everything. What I love the most about this, though, is your story. And I feel that's why we do what we do. That's why we are photographers in that way. And it's to like capture those moments. But I love when I look at one and it takes me back to that moment, the struggles, what you overcame to get this, because it's not always easy. And you just showed up at the airport, flew first class and you did this thing. It's, it's hours and hours accumulated with a vision for that moment that you yeah. see right here. And so to be able to share something like that is so important, like the stories to me, like, I love that. Well, I would say like, it's never yeah. easy. I mean, yeah, when you think about what was in, like entailed just to get yeah. here was like sailing across uh, a, a channel mm -hmm. that we almost had humpback whale land on Shh. our bow through the night, like, yeah. you know, sailing like what I don't know, four or five hours through the night yeah. and, you know, in, in kind of bad weather and then, you know, getting here and then trying to get to shore. Mm -hmm. I mean, all, I mean, all this stuff, it is, mm -hmm. it is, I mean, the amount of yeah. energy and it, what it, what it yeah. takes um, is pretty crazy, but that that's kind of when you, when you love what you do so much, um, you don't mind putting in the effort to do Absolutely. it. Um, and so, so that's why I always tell people who are aspiring to be like photographers. I'm like, you really, you really got to want this because you got to, mm -hmm. you got to want to like push mm -hmm. through and do all the hard stuff mm -hmm. it takes to take a lot of these. Absolutely. Images. Wow. Jeez. And so this is a more, you know, close up angle of that dune you saw yeah. um, that was lit up on. The so did he, he take off image. right where those footsteps are below or is that from some other creature? No, that, that's okay. from him. But what he did is he, he landed and then took off again. So we would, we would just like we call them touch and goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, he just like landed and like walked around a little bit and then just took off. That again. color contrast is so beautifully perfect. You know what I mean? With that orange oh. to it and the blacks, like wow, like that is a special image. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. it's again very, very mm -hmm. surreal. Like when you're looking at it, you just can't believe how beautiful it is. Wow. Um, and this is a different time of day, but again, um, just kind of getting mm -hmm. that sense of place and how remote we are. Shadow and, is just crazy. You know, the, the shadows on the, oh. on the sand. Um, how untouched crazy. it looks too, is such a beauty. And it's like, you're almost like, you know, by paragliding over it, is it paragliding? Is that what this is called? So, it's paragliding. so paragliding over it, you're like preserving that. You're getting to enjoy that as opposed to like, hiking up yeah. the mountain and like, go, you know what I mean? And like shooting it on the thing. It's like, Completely. we've not touched it and you can enjoy it like as it is. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Between Sets. Make sure to like and subscribe to be tuned in on all future episodes. Thank you.